All right, find an angle that satisfies. So finding an angle that is <coughs> theta <coughs> that satisfies each of the following. It doesn't tell us, but we know something about the relationship between cosecant and secant. Class, what's the relationship between cosecant and secant? They are co-functions. <laughs> and class, what do you know about co-functions? They are complementary. <coughs> okay. <coughs> that means that our two angles here are going to be complementary. Blank plus blank equals 90 degrees. But class, I can't use 90 degrees because I have radians. And therefore, 90 degrees is <coughs> pi over 2. So I have 3 pi over 4 plus theta. So here's one way of doing it. This is my using my blanks. So if I subtract 3, over po 3 pi over 4 on both sides, I'm going to have a denominator of 4, so I'm going to have to multiply this one by 2 over 2, or multiply by 1, so it gives me 2 pi over 4. So if I subtract 3 pi over 4 over here, <coughs> I get theta equals 2 minus 3 is negative pi over 4 is my answer. <coughs> so this is one way of doing the problem. This is using my idea of the blanks. Another way that you can solve this problem is using the equation. So this method I call with blanks. And the second method you can use is your identity or the equation. Nelson, what is the um, formula or identity I gave you for cosecant of an angle? Uh, cosecant pi over 2 minus theta equals 2 secant of theta. So cosecant of theta equals secant of pi over 2 minus the angle, right? <coughs> and in some ways... Because there, if you look at the problem, cosecant of 3 pi over 4 theta is 3 pi over 4, so you would put that there. <coughs> and we already know that this is going to become 2 pi over 4. So essentially, our answer is going to be uh, cosecant of 3 pi over 4 equals secant of 2 minus 3 gives you negative pi over 4. <coughs> and so theta is essentially your answer here. Theta is negative pi over 4. So I wanted to present to you guys two ways of solving the problem, either, either using blanks or identity and equations.